What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as I'm doing something different. This is a reaction video to the March 8th Nintendo Direct in 2018. Because I wanted to do reaction stuff, I like covering trailers, like doing analyses stuff, and hey, there's a Nintendo Direct going on. Um, this is not being done live, this is being done the day after the game actually, uh, the trailers even came out. And I've avoided most of the spoilers, I think. There's only been one meme that I saw and it didn't make sense to me. It was just silhouettes in a dark room, so going with that. Um, let's go into this. As a predictions thing, even though everyone already knows this, but hey, that's how reaction videos kind of go. Um, I'm not expecting much. The biggest thing that they were talking about in the marketing for this was the Mario Tennis game. So I'm imagining it's just going to be mostly indie games. There's probably a secret in there somewhere considering people are making memes about something. I'd like it to be Pikmin 4, but the chances of it being Pikmin 4 are very, very low. But you've got to keep an eye out for every Nintendo Direct these days, because Pikmin doesn't get the big Nintendo Directs. They get all the mini ones. Hey, Pikmin was just a tiny little update for thing. So anyway, whatever. Enough rambling. Let's go. I'm probably going to cut into this to make it a little bit more interesting. Unless you want 34 minutes of content. It's the biggest collection in this micro game series. Oh! The latest in the WarioWare series is coming to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Uh. Which means there's a new way to play Wario's strangely satisfying micro game. I was going to say, actually, there's definitely a lot of emphasis on 3DS. I don't... I don't like when there's 3DS reveals. I want everything to just be on the Switch. It just looks less impressive because it's so pixely, but oh well. I do like the WarioWare series a lot. Probably won't get this though. Okay. What are their new looks? WarioWare Gold. Wait, that was a pointless sentence there. It's like, they got new looks! They look the same! Okay. Ooh. I don't know this game. I've just seen it a little bit. Like, Dillion? Is that what it's called? Dillion. Oh, never mind. Ooh, uh, that doesn't look very great. I was gonna say, though, 3DS games look better when they are 3D. I quite like that, I think. Even though it's more pixely, it looks better because it's 3D. Maybe I just hate 2D stuff. Like, the WarioWare looked really bad because it was pixelated 2D images, but if it's pixelated 3D images, it's more acceptable, I guess? Wait, so what, what, what genre is this? It's like a racing action game, but it's got, like, mini-games in it? Okay. A lot of these I'm probably not going to get. Is this Inside Story again? Oh, wow! They're actually going through all of them! Well, two. That's really cool! Except they're just shooting down all the stuff on the... Well, I mean, actually, it's been a long time since the, the Game Boy Advance. I never actually played this game. I haven't actually played many uh, Mario and Luigi games. I played the first one, and I've played a bit of the the latest new one. <gasps> nice. This is just like the uh, the latest original one. Okay, more of this. All right. Is this easy to do then if they've done two so quick? Oh, okay. 29. It's only March. Don't need to talk about 2019 yet. Wow, this is going really quick. I wasn't expecting this. This is going to be a quick half hour. He's not Danny DeVito. I'm kind of more interested to watch this for seeing the other 3D Pokemon rather than actually Detective Pikachu. <laughs> As of today, the game is available for purchase huh. in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. You can uh, you can name your own character, but he won't say it. So Tim isn't is its default name, but you can change whatever. Okay. Oh, that's that's really new. Oh, cool! I've got a Pikachu one. Okay. 
That actually sounds a little... No, is it gonna be old timey? Okay, actually, no. That's awesome. I wanted to replay this game anyway because I couldn't get a rank A in the UK version. I might play it on the 3DS. That's cool. Yes, yes. It's old timey ghosts. Oh, thank God. If you watch any of my old content, you know I much prefer the first game over the second. <laughs> well, there he is. Spoilers. Oh, this is good. Cool. And of course, it's the 8 bit version. I might get this. I bought Luigi's Mansion like six times in my life because I kept trading it, but. Nice. Probably Halloween. It's got to be Halloween time. Okay, all right, this is the good stuff now. I'm actually excited for that now. Didn't think I would be. Oh, I'm all fidgety now. Let's go, of course. They're already Kirby characters. That was King DDD, Meta Knight, and the, the enemy one. Oh, oh yes. Bandana Waddle D. Of course. Why does it have to be Bandana Waddle D? Can't it just be normal Waddle D? I guess because he couldn't recognize it. Oh! Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay, so this could be like. Okay, it's only five. But still, five's a lot. Kinda. That's actually quite cool. I've never played a Kirby game. Why do they always announce these like five days before? Oh, sorry, seven. Need to get the soundtrack as well. <gasps> Okami! New artistic touches. There's already a HD version. Or use the Joy Con that... as motion controls in TV mode or uh, table mm, good luck with that one. An intuitive way to solve puzzles and defeat your foes. I've actually got Okami on the Wii, but I couldn't get past one of the most basic things because I couldn't do the motion controls right. I forgot how sexualized some of these characters are. Oops. But okay. That's cool. I hope people get that. Okami's good. I know the story. Didn't get to play it. This looks like another Rhythm Heaven. What is this? <laughs> okay. If sushi's banned, then how can you make sushi for the battle? You should be able to fight with sushi if the sushi's banned, right? Ooh, well, online. That existed for ages. There's a whole Splatoon series based on it, but okay. Sounds like a parody, but I'll accept it. Octopath! I know this art. I've looked at it a lot on the eShop. And they've stuck with the title now. Uh, okay, they're still part of the eight. Ooh. Meet Tressa the Merchant. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is purchase. Which oh. means she can obtain so special she... items from townsfolk. She's a fool. I helped out someone in a and bar. rich. Simple as that. And this is Alfin, the apothecary. I don't know he what an apothecary on is. To heal those suffering across the continent. His path action oh, is Oh, he's a healer. Fire. He can worm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Ah, Let's nice. He's a charisma guy. Start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. Ah, uh, okay. If another character like the merchant Tressa equips a dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand your strategic options. All right. 
So it's like, um, I can't remember what they called it, like in Final Fantasy. They had it in 13, 13 I think, the bad one. Yes. Yes! Yes! Okay. I will be available then for like two weeks. I can buy that game in two weeks. That actually looks really cool. Sound selection? If I have money, I really want to get that actually. See. I don't want I don't want big editions of like Mario games. I've got one for the well, not even Zelda, but like Octopath. Yes, I don't know why I'm just really into it. Oh dear, does this exist before? Oh okay, it's oh whoa, this actually looks really cool graphic wise. Okay, so it's like it's a like a. Adaptability genre beat em up? Or is it always a. No, because it's not always 3D. We saw a top down 2D one. These designs are kind of cool, actually. Although that guy looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. Is it always square? Because we've got. Oh, I guess that's the HUD. Okay. <laughs> Bad man. Oh, I remember people were going crazy about this when that was announced. Okay. Ooh. Dark Souls Amiibo. I have really wanted to play Dark Souls. Okay. Ooh. Nice. That's. Is that the. No, that's not Praise Sun, is it? Yes, it is. I thought it was the, cre the, the Crescent one, but alright. Kinda jumping on the memes. If you count it as a meme. I still haven't seen that meme thing. I imagine it's gonna be at the end. Alrighty. Is it my meme? Is it a dark room? Nope. Of course not. It's the Mario Tennis. I should have known that one. I love the GameCube game. I really liked there was a game where it was like you had to hit... You had to hit like the sections of a wall that had Mario's face on it and it would colour it in, I think. It's really fun. Ooh! I want to know how extensive this roster is. Cause, like, the change up one seems interesting. Okay. Gameplay. <sighs> Boo was the worst. But hey, actually, we got, we got Waluigi on the Switch. Is that the first? He's got new hair, which is interesting. Okay. Oh! Okay. Okay. What if you don't have motion controls active? Like, what if you're using it handheld or in the controller? You just have to go with it? Oh, there's racket damage now. Okay, that's kind of cool. Really, that's just bad design. Not game design, like tennis racket design. I need to get the original GameCube tennis game soundtrack. Again, I love listening to video game soundtracks. And I didn't get that one. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> okay, they've both got a bandana. Wa uh, Waluigi and Wario. Oh, wow. Okay, hello. This is getting fancy. Okay. See... I really liked uh, Mario Strikers Charge because it was way over the top football. I hope they're doing it here. I was supposed to say. <laughs> nice eyebrows. So you just got to master blocking and you win every game from the sounds of things. Is there more? Oh, okay. Cool. I was going to say it might be getting over complicated. Rosalina, Boo, anyone new? Not really. Uh, Chain Chomp, anyone else? No, they've done duplicates. Whoa, is that... is that... Whoa, I'll never guess who that one is. I wanted to say Totodile. Is this the Darkroom meme I was seeing? No. 
It was CGI'd. I'm definitely going to be playing Waluigi. I've always played Waluigi in games where Waluigi is available. See, in Striker's Charge, it was way over the top in that there was, like, giant barriers that would electrocute you if you went out of. I want to see more of that, like, more crazy sports. They're, they've got twists, but they're, like, yeah, they're all right. They're, like, cartoony twists, which are kind of nice. Actually, yeah, this is quite snazzy. i got to admit, this, is, this ain't too bad. If I was rich, I'd probably play it. If I had that kind of money to throw around. Ah! Okay. Sure, why not? I'll play that one if it's free. <laughs> you can see the determination in his eyes there. Ah! Uh, same game? Yes, same game. Cool. I've played this a fair bit. I haven't completed it because I never had the time. Might do it this summer. Maybe I'll maybe I'll play uh, LP even. But yeah, okay, pretty standard. Kind of toes done well enough to appear on Switch. Ooh, I like it. Can you jump on the taxi? Probably not. Hope so. Must be really. Are they, are they, have they got really easily portable games? Well, actually, they're taking months and months to come out, so maybe not. This is my meme. Nope. Whoa. Whoa. I was not expecting this. No, I knew about slightly. Toby Fox said he wanted to get a game on the Switch, and now he's here. Nice. Eventually. Sweet. It's got the PS4, the PC, and now the Switch. Go, Toby Fox. All three. Oh, my gosh. All the remakes are just... Everything that's on the PS4 is just appearing on the Nintendo Switch now. I really wanted to play this. I'm, I'm almost half like, tempted to get a PS4 for all these kind of games that were coming out, but I don't need to anymore. Still won't get to get probably Detroit, but oh well. That game never seems to be coming out anyway. <laughs> In the evil Uka Uka. Gosh, this is crazy. Everything's coming out in July. July or March. Ooh. This is reminding me a little bit of uh, Insides and that other silhouette game. Although it's a bit more Tim Burton mixed with melted prosthetics. I love creepy and atmospheric stuff. Ooh. This is very insidey. Oh, I thought it was just a duck, but okay. <laughs> Horrifying. I like that. This is apparently really good. I, uh, I've seen a bit of it. I'm not crazy into it, but it's just me. Just not crazy on South Park. Okay. <laughs> it's nice hearing the uh, the, t the the guy, the innocent, family-friendly narrator guy, try and say it. Nice. I also want to know who what characters are in this. Cause I've seen like a billion now. So that was Breath of the Wild. That was Zelda. That one. New Ganon. But then there's like billions now. What were the other new ones? Uh, Linkle. Well, that was ages ago. There was something new. I don't remember them. Oh, I should have shown them off real quick. There's like 40 characters now. Maybe 39. Maybe 30. Ooh. Oh, that's new too. Or maybe I've just not been keeping up with arms. I guess that's not the new thing. Oops. Is arms still doing well? Because I assumed it would be kind of gimmicky and get tired soon. I heard a couple people saying the same, that it was like they got bored of it after like a week or two. That is a perfect shot. Like, they're just completely clean and empty. Well, maybe not the windows, but... Of course. Again. Alright, I missed the last one. Wasn't interested. Or did I? No, I don't think I did play it. Nice shirt. Or jumper. I guess my, uh, my room meme was either a joke from something else, or it's that secret thing they always put at the end. Nice. New hairs? There was new hairs, actually. But that might have just been Flatoon 2 in general. Oh, okay. They're the old ones. Oh, okay. 
Wahoo World. And what? Sweet. Rank X is here. Poses? Oh. Rank X is an extreme rank. <laughs> what a difference in character. The world of Splatoon. Ooh, okay. I thought that was an actual effect. What? Oh. New story. That's an octoling. Octoling story? It said E4 in the back. That probably means nothing. London? Just Subway? Oh? Okay. Pearl and Marine, I think? Ooh, hello. Mr. Lice. I don't actually know his name. I don't know if he's new. I don't know Splatoon. What is this? It's the subway. The submarine way. Submerged way. Is that what it's supposed to be? Oh. Oh? Are they turning Inklings into Octolings? They look like Octolings, the phone things. Oh, it's like a maze? This is a really cool like introduction to it. Gosh, there's so much inventiveness to this, isn't it? Like balls and tree tree planting apparently. And she's being watched this whole time. Octo story? Splatoon 2 Octo. Expansion. Sweet! That's cool. There's also always VHS y stuff for Splatoon, huh? I'm tempted to get it now! But isn't? They said she looks like one. Looks like mm. some kind of test subterranean. Subterranean. Okay. <laughs> of course he's got another pose for you. And also he's Agent 8, or she's Agent 8 because it's Agent Octo. Gotcha. Okay. So if it's like, it's like a... Okay. Gosh, that guy's fun. Okay. Yes, that meme was something else. No, all right, there it is. Give me the dark room. I really, I'm lost on it. What could it be? Switch. I guess. Splatoon three. Okay, it's not. It's a white room. Never mind. No, no. What? We just had Splatoon. It's very silky though. So. I I have no idea. I have no idea. You've just said there's a DLC, there's basically a new story. Uh, is it Smash? Because it's not- here's a dark room! Alright! I was right. Because what else would they be in? Alright, yeah, okay, I was right, it's Smash! A giant flaming- well, you're dead, is what that means. It's a giant sun. Oh. oh. Okay. That's horrifying. Super Smash Bros. on Switch! Uh, okay, so again, a, th a three-ported game. Just like, well, Undertale, but okay. Is that it? It's kind of- alright, all right, that was it, done. It was kind of a horror- well, actually, Smash is always kind of horrifying, but okay. There you go, then. Alright. I guess that's the Nintendo Direct done. I wasn't expecting Smash. I don't know what I was expecting, because I just knew- well, let me go back to it. I just knew Dark Room. I don't actually know what frame I saw. Ooh, actually, hold on. So first of all, yeah, that's just- why is it- oh, I guess it's because it's supposed to be a sun. That's Breath of the Wild, Link. Does that change a difference? Does that change a difference? Does that make a difference? They put a lot of emphasis on everything, don't they? Uh, I think that's pretty standard. You've got like Bowser and Donkey Kong and Zelda, I think, in there somewhere. Okay. Cool. So uh, if we're getting more Smash, we're getting more characters, and it's probably going to be more than Splatoon. So who is relevant? Are we getting Shovel Knight? Um, probably not someone from Octopath. Well, well, let's go through this. Hold on. I must know. Who could possibly be in Smash then? It's the most speculative thing I have to go on. Because I don't really know the other series that well. So, but let me just go to the beginning. Hold on. And then skip through. Don't mind me. 
Yoshiaka's probably not gonna be in it. Wario is already in it. Maybe another character from Wario, like Ashley. Dylan could appear in it. Maybe. They're, they're sort of pushing him forward. He's surviving. Um, not really anything available there. It's pretty samey. We've got all those characters already. Detective Pikachu is probably gonna be a skin for Pikachu. That makes sense. Um, if only there was more sound. Also, a giant amiibo. Sounds great. Uh, Luigi's Mansion's already existing. Maybe King Boo? Probably not. <gasps> Sorry, I, I liked the uh, the ghost there. Snives or something? Chives? I can't remember. What else have we got? Kirby? Maybe they'll give us Bandana Waddle Dee <laughs> for some reason. Because apparently he's an established character. Or just like any of the random like marks could be one. Or they'll probably just be skins again. Gooey? Probably sounds like a bit of a goofy one actually. Oh well. Oh, Matarasu. Maybe he was in Marvel vs. Capcom, I think, or something. Yeah, because it's Capcom. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. What else do we got? I will be surprised if Sushi Man appears in Smash. I mean, this is like his first appearance. Sushi Striker. Oh, he's got an Octopath Traveler uh, shirt, I just noticed. I like this. I really want to play this. This is definitely a game I'm going to play. In like the two weeks that I've got. I'm doing it. Alright, we don't need to see this. But uh, maybe an Octopath character will appear. Anyone else? Also, I get like a nice little recap of everything. I doubt this guy's going to be in it, but everyone loves it. So I'll at least watch it when it comes out. Dark Souls has an amiibo now. So maybe they'll give the Dark Souls character someone. But I'd be very surprised. Well... They did with like uh, a snake, so maybe <laughs> he's got. He's, I mean, he's already got his uh, his taunts, so I guess it makes sense. I don't want to hear about my Nintendo. Uh, tennis character, Waluigi. Come on, Rosalina. They're all in it. Toad, Toadette, and Toad. I doubt they'll give Chain Chop, but no, Chain Chop will stay as a trophy, Smash trophy. What are they called? Assist trophy. That's it. Okay, this is actually a really long section. Good lord. Tennis! Maybe Koopa? Uh, they also put Spike in the latest Mario Party game, but I doubt he'll appear. Captain Toad? Be very impressed if- no, his whole thing is that he doesn't fight. So, probably not. He'll probably be an assist trophy soon. Undertale is not gonna be in Smash. If it is, I'll eat my foot. Or my shoe. Crash Bandicoot? Could be a wacky one. But that could work. Nightmares. Oh, that's an idea. Little Nightmares, I highly doubt, unfortunately. South Park is a no. Arms! Of course! Alright, there's gonna be an arms character. Probably two. The two main ones. Um, I don't know. J J Strick Jones and... Candy Girl. I can't remember their names. I did not pay attention to arms. But okay, and then of course, yes, yeah, Splatoon. All right, looks pretty cool. I'm getting more and more tempted to play Splatoon 2 as more and more stuff happens, you know? Like this is really cool. Like, ah, oh, I'm in love. But yeah, okay, cool. Although this is a little, that's a bit of an odd shot. Don't you think that's a bit like sexualized considering they're like, aren't they like 13? Maybe not, I don't know, just the, the the low shot of her skirt. Oh well. Also, hey, they've been created. So I think these might be, well, no, just like, yeah, invented cloned octolings. Interesting. Yeah, okay, cool. I might do a, a full analysis if people are interested soon enough. Let me know which one of these you want to cover. Probably Splatoon 2, if I had to guess. I'd definitely be up for it. I don't know everything about Splatoon, but I can do my research. Let us know, but otherwise, that pretty much covers us for Nintendo Direct. I just wanted to start reacting to something, and I actually wasn't expecting it to be this big. Like, Mario and Luigi, Luigi's Mansion, there's actually stuff I'm, I care about in this. And the indie games also look kind of interesting. So yeah, sweet. Yeah, I should have known, it's like, it's super CGI, like, that's the classic Mar uh, well, could, no, not Mario Kart, there was a Mario Kart Smash announcement. 
That was it. So, like, if it's overly CGI'd and looks too good, it's Smash. They've got the budget for it. That's literally it. Okay. I don't know where the shot was that I saw, but okay. Alright, that's going to cover us then for Nintendo Direct. I'm going to pause it on that shot and let it be from there. So, uh, thank you for joining me. If you watched the whole thing, then great. Looks like I was talking so much that I couldn't edit it down, but oh well. Hope you enjoy. Uh, let me know what you want to see me cover, because I would quite like to cover some stuff. I, I just want to make videos again, so it'll be happening soon enough. Anyway, for now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. And I hope I ain't got any technological dish issues, because I haven't done this in a while, and by my luck, it's probably all broken. Goddamn.